Hi everyone, I'll be starting shortly. Let me just adjust the volume and everything. Okay, welcome to my stream. Um, today I wanted to announce a new project that I have been working on for the last few months and I will be working on for the next few months, I guess. And it's a very, very exciting thing for me because not only I'm working on it, but also Kana is taking uh, part in it uh, and eight other awesome artists that uh, we asked uh, are also participating in this project so this is a very big uh, thing for me because this is the first time that i'm working on such a big thing and um, i'm kind of curating this project so uh, what is it uh, i'm curating a comic collection a collection of short comic stories that will be made by total about 10 people um, I will be talking about who is participating in this project in a second. So um, this is a new thing that I'll be doing from now on and you'll be seeing it a lot on the channel and you'll be seeing it a lot on my uh, Instagram and everything. Um, so um, I'm very, very excited about this project and I wanted to show you a bit more and talk uh, about more uh, and talk in more details about this project too. So I made a website uh, that mm, tells you everything you want to know about this small project and while showing it, I'll be talking a bit more about it. And I'm also watching your chat here. So if you have any questions on uh, what I'm talking about, just ask in the chat and I'll try to answer also. Okay, let's go um, to the website. So if you go, uh, if you follow the link uh, in the description or if you just go to my website, which is like this, and um, you look in the books and comics section here, you scroll down a bit to the comics section, there's this short stories collection uh, page, which is still blank because uh, the title and the cover is not decided yet, but you can read all about it here. Okay, so this is a collection of short stories. So um, these will be one shots, not like series or anything, uh, made by 10 authors. And all of these stories are set in Japan. So this is uh, the kind of binding theme of this short story collection. All of the stories are set in Japan. Uh, it's planned for release in early 2022, so early next year, depending on how fast, of course, all the works will be finished, but we plan to release it in early 2022. The title is not decided yet. The book will be released as a non-DRM um, high-resolution digital release. So similar to what you uh, might uh, bought when you bought my comic Yuragi or uh, the Hokkaido in Ink book in a digital release. So it will be a digital file, a PDF, uh, for example, that you will be able to view on any device that you have. Um, it will be in Japanese and in English. So uh, because there are Japanese artists participating in this um, collection and also foreign artists participating, writing in English, for example, uh, we will make two versions uh, translating the Japanese to English and English to Japanese so you will be able to buy in one file two language versions. Um, and um, of course because there are um, more, uh, more than 10 people participating in this uh, overall and uh, each team has 16 pages um, it will be more than 160 pages of comic for you to read, plus some additional things like uh, a section about the tools, 
um, also like a section about um, like the the story making process so like sketches and uh, rough images and concept arts and so on so in total I think maybe the uh, the book will be uh, um, almost 200 pages so this will be um, like really a substantial book if it would be printed it would look something like like this I guess so this is uh, uh, a book that has how many pages? Uh, 120 pages. So it will be like double this size. A lot of comics for you to read. Uh, some of the stories uh, will be uh, like real um, uh, autobiographical stories or stories that actually happened. Some will be fantastic. Some will be kind of science fiction, I guess. So um, there will be a lot, a lot of different types of stories in this collection, but all of them will be set or kind of inspired uh, by Japan. Okay. Um, so this is the contents of the book. And uh, here on this website, the next section here at the bottom here now on the screen is the newsletter which is really, really, really important. Um, you will be able to buy the book on my Gumroad probably, uh, as you can uh, the, uh, with the Yuragi comic and the, uh, my other digital uh, books. But here now, if you want to be informed about uh, this project from now on, uh, you can subscribe to this newsletter. Just put your email here and um, press subscribe there will be some steps to confirm your email but the subscription process is really really easy and you will get informations via email about uh, how the book is progressing and when the book will be ready for you to buy okay um, I will remind you about this at the end of the video again probably <laughs> okay so let's go to the most important part in this book so all the creators that will be participating so first member the first member are Atelier Sento and I say are because uh, Atelier Sento is a French duo of artists uh, working mostly with watercolors and pencils so they make comics and games actually with watercolors and pencils and uh, they already published like I think four or five albums of their own comics and also recently participated in a project where they made the story and another artist uh, drew the comic. The, uh, so they are really experienced in making awesome stories set in Japan because most of their work is set in Japan. So they make like these autobiographical or, or half autobiographical stories about traveling to Japan and also just fantastic stories set in Japan. So for example, here you have a page of um, their awesome comic uh, that I also have here. Uh, camera. So this album that is awesome. Uh, and they will be participating in this story collection with a 16 pages uh, story of their own. They already started working on the story, I'm told, so I'm very excited about this. Um, this story collection this time will be black and white, so um, it will be a black and white comic. Uh, but I'm uh, either way, I'm really, really excited about uh, what Atelier Santo will make for this collection. Okay, so the next person in the list is Heikara. Uh, she is a very, very well-known artist, uh, illustrator from Finland. Uh, I'm really sure that you know her. <laughs> and um, she makes these fantastic worlds full of witches and huge animals and magic. And really, really excited about the story that she wants to make for this um, collection. She made some short, like black and white um, comics that look like this. Uh, I very, very like the style of this and um, how kind of painterly and loose, but at the same time, really tight it is. Uh, it's hard to explain, but um, a style like this is really hard to get. And I'm really excited about what story she will make for this collection. Also, um, 
you might know her publication um this huge book that i have here ah, something fell down um this is um her album of art that you can buy right now online and also in shops like everywhere so i'm really really excited about uh heikala participating in this project too okay uh, let's go to the next person. The next person is Hyuchitana. Hyuchitana is a Japanese manga artist. Uh, he uh, do does autobiographical comics about his own past experiences, uh, but also like uh, currently what he experiences in Japan. So his uh, comics are mostly uh, autobiographical about his family, about his past, about the surrounding Japan scenery and so on. So I thought that he would be just perfect for a collection like this that is set in Japan. And his drawing style is really cute and also really tight. I like the textures that uh, he does without using any tones. And his characters are just the most realistic and warm characters you want in a manga. So um, this is also a great artist, I think, for this collection. And I'm really excited about uh, what story he will present in this album. Okay, let's go to the next person. The next person is Honoki Jin, uh, who is also a Japanese manga artist and illustrator. Also, uh, in his comics, he creates these, most of the times, he creates these fantastic SF-like worlds that kind of remind me of Mobius works uh, with excellent control excellently controlled pen lines and awesome action scenes also so uh, i'm really really excited about the work that uh, he will do for this uh, album because also in his other works that are more kind of realistic and so on uh, he places really really realistic really really human like characters that are well thought of and um, he has a uh, great respect for ki his characters too so I'm really ex uh, excited about the story that he will do for this collection. Okay, let's go to the... Honoki Jiro-san. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next person. The next person is Ken Nimura. And also probably you know his work. He's a Spanish-Japanese cartoonist and illustrator and has this unique style um, that is... I think not similar to anything I saw before, really dynamic and using like large splashes of color and really bold dynamic lines uh, to present his deep stories, interpretations of old Japanese stories also and most of his stories are set also in Japan. So um, these are fantastic like uh, fables but also uh, often his just experiences as a manga artist uh, living in Japan, so uh, kind of autobiographical things. So this is also awesome uh, member to have in this collection. I'm really, really excited about uh, his work for the album. I already saw actually the storyboard that he made for his story, uh, so I can be excited and um, I would really, really like to show it to you right now, but um, uh, we will have to wait until uh, everything is finished. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Uh -huh. oh, and um, uh, probably you know his work, which is the I Kill Giants comic, uh, which has been uh, filmed uh, recently into a full um, like cinema movie. And this also, uh, he also received the Eisner Award and the Fifth International Manga Award and all kinds of uh, awards and stuff for his works. So uh, we are lucky to have him on the team also. Okay, uh, the next author. The next author is Linnea Sterte. And uh, she's also an Eisner nominated graphic novel artist uh, creating these awesome kind of science fiction mm, not post-apocalyptic but otherworldly worlds uh, that are uh, just very very complex and uh, have complex ecosystems have 
um, unique animals in them, unique people living in them, unique cultures in them o uh, even. So um, I really love her um, comic, which is called Stages of Rot. I have it here. Uh, if you haven't read this one, just go and grab it because this is a great uh, comic, especially if you like um, SF vibes and Mobius vibes and these kind of um, excellent w world building um, stories. Uh, this thing is really deep and it's painted beautifully with uh, pencil and digital colors. So this is also um, just an uh, author that I love to read uh, on my own just uh, as a past pastime and I was really really excited to have her in this series. Um, I'm excited to see what she'll do for the um, album. Okay, next one is Mopko and Mopko san uh, is a Japanese comic artist and illustrator and she uses really soft hand-drawn um, lines and expressions to um, create scenes that are filled with atmosphere and uh, expressive and familiar characters, just everyday scenes, but also with some special twists to them that are a bit um, fantastic and um, often very funny. Um, I really, really uh, like her style and um, I find that it's um, really, really unique. So you can see some pages of her work here and you can find more of her work on Pixiv also. She released a collection of her short stories called uh, like Short Stories Omnibus and um, it's really, really great. So I'm happy to have her also on uh, the team. Okay, so let's go to the next person. Uh, the next person is Skerakko, Skerakko-san. And she is a manga artist and illustrator also that lives in Kyoto, Japan. And uh, creates uh, these also words I worlds inspired by um, the everyday things in Japan. So for example, in this work that I featured uh, on this website, uh, she makes a story inspired by the public bath, the Sento. But uh, she often mixes these kind of mundane things with fantastic. So in this story, for example, the Sento is run by and for cats. So um, <laughs> this is uh, some somewhere so something like absurd, but made real in her comic, which is a thing that I like a lot. And I'm also really excited about uh, what she'll make for this series. And we are really happy to have her uh, in this um uh, book because she was also featured in this manga is amazing Japanese best comic selection which is a really famous kind of a selection of the best and most ambitious comic works uh, done in Japan currently so awesome okay next person the next person is Kana Urbanovic <laughs> which is sitting here <laughs> hi and um, she makes uh, manga illustrations and animations also um, works with always with honest and really lifelike depictions of characters and places and lifestyles so for example she makes um, uh, two comics one is her comic about Edo so about living in the Edo period in Tokyo uh, which presents people living in a Nagaya so a long house a shared house uh, in uh, one of the dist districts of uh, Edo and the everyday life there and her second uh, comic is one about learning things where the main character is a Japanese tanuki called Ponko. Um, so she always features themes like re realistic well taught uh, characters and uh, she also focuses a lot about the learning so the importance of learning and knowing and knowledge in her comics which is awesome and um, this time she'll also feature a short 16 pages uh, self-contained story in this collection too okay so the next uh, <laughs> creator is last but uh, I, I hope not least um, me uh, who also is creating this uh, collection um, I'm not an editor for this collection so I'm not telling people to do this or that uh, I'm um, more of a curator, so if you think about uh, 
art exhibition in like a museum and that features all kinds of different artists from different countries even uh, i'm the guy who is trying to make this all work together and to put it into a nice um easy to open box so i'm not an editor i'm like a curator but i'm also an author in this collection uh, i will be making a story that is also 16 pages long and um Usually I work with watercolors and pencils and so on, so I work in color, but this time I want to challenge myself to make a comic that will be black and white, um, and it will be a little bit fantastic, I think. So um, you know what I do. Um, I already did uh, Tokyo Storefronts, Tokyo at Night, and Yuragi, the comic that you can download digitally on my Gumroad if you want to see my past work. Okay, so um, these are all the people, and uh, by the way, my comic Yuragi looks like this. I showed everyone, so I'll just put it on the screen. Okay, so that's all the members of the team. I hope we can have um, some additional people, but I still am not sure. So um, here are only the uh, authors that are decided yet. Uh, I will be posting any updates uh, on the newsletter so um, be really really sure to subscribe to this newsletter I will be sending only news about this book so there will be no spam or different messages just uh, things about this book this is not a Kickstarter this is not a crowdsourcing campaign or anything um, I'm kind of sponsoring this book thanks to your help on Patreon I was able to do this and um, we just are doing this project as a self-contained thing so this is not a kickstarter or a campaign thing uh, the book will be available as i said early next year and if you want to be notified notified about everything about this book uh, just subscribe here to the newsletter it's not a must i will be mm, talking about this on my social media twitter instagram and so on but if you want to be the first one to receive the copy uh, just subscribe here and uh, you'll be notified okay thank you for joining me today on this announcement this announcement will be on my youtube channel i will I archive it on my youtube channel but um, i will also probably make a better trailer when we already have like a cover and title and some visuals that i can show you actually so um, I'm really, really, really excited. You can probably tell from me using a lot of the world word really and excited. Uh, so I hope you are excited too. Um, and yeah, I'll see you around. I'll be making this uh, comic happen for the next few months. So you'll probably see a lot of this on uh, Instagram and so on. And also, uh, if you want, please follow all the members. Uh, there are links to their Instagrams and Twitters and so on on the page that I showed you. So you can follow them and see what they will be uploading uh, because um, they will be also uploading stuff from like work in progress shots and so on from uh, this book. So I'm excited to see these also. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Um, just go and subscribe and I'll see you and uh, I will see you at in the next video or live stream. Bye.